Season 1, your comedy is fun. We've got spam click, boys. Luckily, I'm not that good at um, spam. Well, I'm not that good at spam clicking, so yeah. But as you can see, this is literally like if, like a fighting game with just middle fingers. Like They look like they're punching, but it's just... Is fish drugs. So then, this is a truck. In it. how does I know it's tainted maple syrup, but I don't think that's literally all the maple syrup in the country, especially considering it's um Canada. But apparently, now the Canadian dollar is worthless. Season 1, your comedy is f- It looks like this is going to be a very a, um, interesting game, to say the least. Pretty much the only reason I got this game was because I watched the show. But anyway, um, welcome to the Trader Pop Boys Greasy Money. I'm Conky and I'm going to teach you how to play this, uh, this game. Yeah, this game has a lot of swear words in it, so um, just to avoid YouTube, you know, trying to take my video down or something, I'm just going to try and avoid most of those. Um, looks like those idiots got out of jail today. They, Yeah, they pretty much do that at the beginning of every season, but, but they don't know how screwed things really are. It's awesome to be home from jail. Ah. Oh. Just so you know guys, I haven't really I, um, played any games in a while where you have to read everything out, so I'm sorry my reading is kind of bad, but I'm going to try anyway. So did you read the news Ricky? The Canadian economy is screwed. The loonies in the flaming nosedive. And our country's a laughing stock because of you. Well if it isn't sexy Julian and his little pal Bubbles and Ricky the sh uh, the um, what what should I say here? Should I just say the weasel? Okay, I'm trying to find the equivalent so it still feels like the show because these are common quotes they say in the show. But you know, if you skip a half the word, it doesn't feel the same. So um, go away, Mister Lady. I got a present for you, a find from the Maple Syrup Board of Canada. Lady. Get to the point, how much? A hundred dollars. <gasps> dun dun dun. Ha! That is nothing. That's one hundred US dollars. Oh my god. That means it's roughly like... Wait a minute, hang on. Let me get my phone out here, because I'm pretty sure Canadian dollars are weaker than American. They're not like... That much. Um... So I just compared it, right? So, one Canadian dollar is 0.74 United States dollar. So, basically, um, 74 cents in America is one dollar in Canada. So, if you think about it, really in Canada, that's only 150 dollars. And I mean, it's not that much, but okay. And um, also, as you can tell, that th this was originally a, a mobile game. It was kind of more designed for mobiles, hence why the cutscenes are more vertical. That's like a medjillion in Canadian dollars. It really isn't, but uh, it's not rocket science bubbles. Well, it's rocket appliance. Because if you don't, oh, well, it looks like we got our first Ricky's Rickyism. Um, if you don't know what a Rickyism is, it's basically when he gets mixed up with another word. So, it, obviously, if he, were, he was to say like a saying or a quote or something, and he changed up one of the words accidentally, it's kind of a thing in the show, it's hard to explain, but... Yeah. Um, anyways, all we have to do is borrow some gas from those cars and set it. Yeah, borrow gas. So, Ricky's used gas. Yay. I guess we click on this now. Step right up. Get your gently used gasoline here. Just leave your money, take what you pay for, and I'm gonna get so wasted. You're not going anywhere. 
Just shut up and keep collecting that cash. Okay, so collect from Ricky's used gas. So, so I guess we're making money. So you can definitely tell that this is meant to be like a mobile game. But just kind of translated as like a PC game. Okay, now what? We need more customers. So I'm imagining you got extend your business or something. I don't know. Um, how the f how the frick do we get those advertising? You got to spend money to make money. Now, no, what? No, you get money and you keep money. That's how you make money. I mean, it's not a lie. Ugh. Ricky is totally wrong as usual. The more you spend, the more you make. Spend cash to attract more customers. Customers will increase the profit of a business. So pretty much as usual money for customers at the beginning and then afterwards just farm the money for like forever and then do the same thing and repeat and you get yourself loads of money. Right, let's see how much money we get each time. We get a fit we get fifty. If we spend all of this money at once like this, and then we take the money. Yeah, look how much money we get, see. Let me just get a bit extra here. See yeah, look how much money we get now. And we get to collect this. Oh look, 10 hash coins. If you don't know um, what hash coins are, it's kind of in the name here, but in the show, it's like Ricky's like kind of made up currency, hash coins. It's kind of in the name what they are, but you know. Alright, we're off to a good start, but we need to diversify. What's the one commodity that's 100% recession proof? What are you? What? What are you doing using your big school words? <laughs> Just use normal people words and I'll understand what you're saying. Ricky, he's talking about entertainment. Uh, okay. Oh. Of course, of course. I can't go eight minutes into this game without already getting gentlemen's entertainment. And it's the dirty dancer. Yep, yep. Oh, of course, and then. Decent. Of course, we're getting a dirty dancer. If you don't know what a dirty dancer is, I don't think I need to explain too much. But I think you can. It, I think you probably can get the idea what I mean by a um, dirty dancer. Oh my God, boys! Look at all this cash. This must be enough to pay that stupid head Leahy. See, it's not the same if I can't say half the words in the dialogue. It just doesn't feel right, just considering the show's nature. Um, anyway, I just checked and we're not even close. Ricky, you really screwed up Canada. Just keep stealing gas and selling bootleg liquor. Eyes on the prize, boys. I mean, only if their business has actually worked out like this every season, which most of the time they don't because they end up in jail somehow. But anyway, how are you do how are you going to dance around this one, Julian? Dirtily. Oh, of course. I know this is a trailer park boys game, but like come on. So what we're gonna do, like we're gonna focus primarily on this to hit the total of a hundred customers. And then afterwards we're going to focus on this a bit more. For God's sakes, are you back on the liquor again, Leahy? Yeah, he does this pretty much all the time. Oh yes, and he apparently is the liquor. Then he becomes blue because of the liquor, and then he's above the liquor, and then now he communicates with the liquor, and it's kind of used to, uh, it's confusing. But anyways, now we're going to invest entirely in this business. So it's kind of like a domino effect. So now we get a hundred customers for this one, and then this one two hundred, and then this one two hundred. I got five hash coins. Okay, we finally got enough cash for that fine. 
Let's send that drunk idiot Leahy back to screw off the tea lands. Oh, oh, so I've seen this in the um, advert, right? This, if I was to ever get monetization, this part would get me instantly demonetized. It's like, imagine Street Fighter, but instead of actually throwing punches, you just put the middle fingers up constantly. End season one, yes. Looks like we got a fuck. I can't say that. Um, okay, looks like we got a, a, like a bazillion dollars here. Ricky, that's not a real number. Whatever, we've got enough for that fine. And then there's Leahy. Poor sexy Julian, there was never a fine. What the hell are you talking about, Mr. Leahy? I knew you clowns couldn't make any money without breaking the law. So I've been filming your, com your committing your crimes. Um, if you don't know in the show, especially in like the Netflix adaptation, he often tries to record them. Like he tries to set them up doing crimes and record them so they can go to jail. And Officer George Green was very interested in the footage. Here we go. You have the right to remain silent, boys. Luckily, he's a stupid cop, so we can probably um, outsmart him. But um, you set up, you set us up, Leahy. You absolute butthole. I can't go to jail. Or look after my kitties. Oh yeah, if you don't know, Bubbles has like ten kitties. Anyways, ooh, what a surprise! Those idiots end up back in jail every season. Yep, that's exactly what I said. It's actually in the show. But if you click like crazy, you can get some extra rewards. Okay, so as you can all see here, uh, the middle finger thing. Yeah, it's like Street Fighter, except no one actually punches or kicks each other. They just kind of use middle fingers. Click as fast as you can to fill the <clears throat> the uh, screw off. No, that wasn't. That doesn't work. Click as fast as you can to fill the duck off meter and win some extra prizes. See, I didn't say it. Okay, now we've got spam click, boys. Luckily, I'm not that good at um, spam. Well, I'm not that good at spam clicking, so yeah. But as you can see, this is literally like if sh like a fighting game with just middle fingers. Like, they look like they're punching, but it's just. You know. Big deal, jail is awesome anyway. So you always get, end up getting arrested. Look at this, we got busted. Oh, we got some liquor. And now they're playing hockey, as all Canadians do. Season 2. Screw community college, let's get drunk and break. Wait, is this actually following... Is this actually following the show's story? Like, because Community College, I think that was like a season 2 thing, I can't remember, but it was early on in the showcase uh, version of it. And every season they do end up going to jail, most of the time, someone does. Anyways, poor handsome Julian, he lost everything while he was in jail. Yep. At, at the end of each season, your customers are reset. Any upgrades to your businesses and or characters are permanent though. It sucks we got kicked out of jail. Yes it does. Our team was in the ball hockey finals too. We weren't kicked out, we were on parole. Hey, what happened to our businesses? And it's Randy. Here we go. I told your customers to frig off when you were in jail. Randy, what in the hell? Why would you do that? You greasy cheeseburger walrus. Man, he likes cheeseburgers or something. Can't complain that. Um, I'm the weakened park supervisor, and it's the weak. Wait, is that. Did... Okay, I'm gonna be honest, I haven't watched the older seasons in quite a while, so my memory of them isn't like 100%, but in season 2, did that happen or was that later on? I, I don't know, I can't remember, but anyway, ignore him and let's get back to these businesses and also make them run in again so, so I think I'm gonna end the video off here um, just because I've been playing for 20 minutes and I kinda wanna see whether you guys like this or not 
I'm just doing this mainly as a one-off, but I might come back for a second or third part if you guys like, really want me to. Um, anyways, I'm just going to leave it here once we finish this bit of dialogue, just save my game and come off. And I can see why people say this is repetitive, because you keep your businesses and your workers and whatnot, but like, your customers keep going every time, so it's like you're doing the same thing over and over. And also my suspicion of the road getting like slowly like longer was right. Anyways, my god this is slow. Getting customers once upon a time. Luckily there's a way to buy multiple customers, stupid. I'm gonna kill that puppy. And he actually does, technically twice. Maybe even three times, I can't remember, but he's definitely killed the puppet multiple times. Anyway, um, you can switch between buying single or multiple customers with the one times and the max button in the bottom right corner. Okay. Get customers for Ricky used gas. Yep. And this is where we're going to end off the video here, guys. Let me... Oh, well, it's actually... Yeah, okay. So, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm not sure whether I, um, I'm i going to keep playing this game or not, I might do but I can feel it getting repetitive maybe, I mean a lot of people say that the game gets really repetitive, I don't know. I'll probably come back for a second part eventually, but um, yeah guys let me know if you want me to continue playing this game. Because at the moment I'm trying to find some more major videos I can do. and. Recently, I've got a lot of mobile game videos coming up, so yeah, might as, might as well play this one while we're at it. But anyways, I will see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.